Today is March 4th, and I gotta read this because it was the Holy Spirit that gave it to me, but forgive the person you love. Forgiveness does not always mean reconciliation, but it really doesn't. Forgiveness to me, I just stop wishing evil or stop being mad at somebody. Uh, it doesn't mean you forget, but anyway, forgive the person you love. So let's think about relationships. So the life in the relationship can revive. Strife kills the life between you. It shuts down her garden from producing good fruit. It shut down his energy to provide and to protect. Respect the love, reject the fear, and accept that you chose each other to bring love near and to open God's ear to hear and to manifest his best for restoration and jubilation in your relationship situation. Love never fails. Love shows you yourself as you are known so you can choose to mature or to change for better. 1 Corinthians 13, 8 through 12. Love heals, protects, provides, guides. Check yourself before you destroy the relationship God meant for you to enjoy. Stop forgetting the frequent good and allowing the less frequent bad to kill the abundant life you had. Stop getting mad over stuff that doesn't matter in the broad view of true love. Look above for each other when it is hard to see each other directly. We are still children of God, whether stagnant or growing by choice or force. Choose life because death is a default choice when you refuse to choose life. Deuteronomy 30, 17 through 20. We kill our relationships because we don't pay the love bills. The love debt creates regret and overwhelms us as we get upset because we never knew to be true lovers. Thus, we smother each other. Thus, the lust fades and we throw the shade and cast shadows over tomorrow's promise of brighter days when we could just forgive to live and reconcile even if it takes a while. Take the time to heal. Be healed so you can be whole and complete each other and hold each other as God feels those holes leaking out the love. 1 John 4, 11 through 12 says, New International Version. Dear friends, since God so loved us, we also ought to love one another. No one has ever seen God. But if we love one another, God lives in us and his love is made complete in us. So let God love through you. Forgive to live in the relationships that God provided for you. And even if it ain't the relationship with God, forgive people and let it go. Thank you.